So as a personal trainer and most service-based businesses, you'll have a lot of, uh, you'll have an on season and an off season. So uh, the dry season, slow season, they'll call it. Um, whether it be ice cream in the winter or personal training in the winter, whatever the season may be. Um, and it could be within the same service business, you have opposite dry season. So I recently had a dry season. I wanna show you something that I did to increase the amount of money I make uh, instantly. And hopefully I can help you guys do that as well. And the way it relates to fitness, you'll see it as I go. So personal training, it's a service-based business. I'm offering a service. I have a skill that I can help you achieve a goal, a result quicker, faster. And it's my ultimate passion and that's just really a plus. That's what you wanna look for when you're looking for a personal trainer. Um, is I just love seeing the clients get results. That's like the main, that's my, my fun. Like I get paid to help people lose weight, but to me, I get paid to have fun. So uh, the way that relates to uh, making more money, getting rich and being buff at the same time, what I wanna sh what I'll show you what I did to make $700 yesterday uh, today is off day. Tomorrow I'm going for another 800. But $700 yesterday, after a dry season, a long dry season. So what I did was, I I just recently started taking receipts. Now you guys know what they are. They're like a little a little book. It cost me like six bucks at Office Max. It was easy. Get a little receipt book. Uh, That's what you should be doing in any kind of business nowadays. Keeping receipts. Give receipts to the client, customer. Keep the receipts, keep track of everything. So that's easy enough, people do it all the time, but they still have off seasons. What did I do to increase the amount of money I made to $700 in a day? So what I did was, instead of going into the gym with the mentality of the last 30 days I haven't made a sale, the last 10 days I haven't made a sale, whatever it may be, uh, or it's been a year since I've made a sale or my confidence is down, I said, I was looking at this receipt book the day I got it. I'm looking at it. I'm thinking, okay, so I know how to use it. Got it all set. I was about to put it back down into the car and go into the gym. Got all my stuff ready. Got uh, my business cards I was gonna hand out, which I've done for a long time. But now I say, if I sign someone up, I'm gonna need this. And I said, well, I'll probably not sign someone up. So I put it in the car. And before I, I'm, I'm just, I'm out of the car, about ready to go to the gym. I park way away, cause you know, I got the exercise going on. Uh, so, and then right before I lock the door, I say, I'm gonna need that receipt book because I'm gonna make a sale and I'm not leaving until I make a sale. So I put that receipt book in my pocket. I put the business cards in my other pocket. I actually had them, had them in my hands regardless. And then I walked in the building with the mentality of, I know I'm gonna get someone. I'm gonna get someone already. I expect it, I'm not leaving until I do. And going in with that much confidence, with a, a calm, breathing into your balls confidence, I had the receipt book ready. First person I talked to, took about five minutes, $400 uh, personal training package, easy as that. She's gonna lose a lot of weight. It has helped me because I have a lot of things that I need to buy, rent to pay, everything like this, gas to buy. So going in with confidence and expecting to do it. So first off, I'd been consistent. But consistency isn't always enough. You gotta be consistent and efficient. That's one thing. You gotta be consistent when you wanna build muscle. You gotta be consistent when you wanna make money and make a living, make a profit, excuse me. Uh, so being building muscle and making money go hand in hand when you wanna, you gotta have to be consistent to do either or. What else, other thing I did was coming with confidence. You have to have confidence. You have to expect the result. So if you think maybe this will work, I'll try, I guess, you know, I'll try anything. I'll do anything to build that muscle. But if you say, no, this channel did this for six months, he's got the experience, I know it works. Human anatomy is the same for our majority of people. I'm pretty sure you know, it's different for some people here and there, small little minute changes. But it, he's had the experience. I don't have to workshop it anymore. I don't have to workshop this business model because I know it worked for him. I see similarities in my body type or in my business. So I'm gonna go do what he already took the time to try and see with the chance of failing, succeeded, and I'm just gonna go ahead and learn from him and go ahead and build that muscle, go ahead and make that money. So uh, you gotta go in with consistency, which happens over time, and you gotta be efficient, which happens over time, along with the consistency. That's easy enough, everyone does that, because we know. So especially if you wanna build muscle, you gotta be consistent. But if you go in with that confidence, expecting to know that that guy built the muscle, that that guy made the money off that business model, go in with that confidence, nothing can stop you. 
Nothing can stop you. If I've inspired you or shown you a little trick or tip to motivate you to make more money, build more muscle, subscribe, comment, tell me what it takes to build muscle and tell me what it takes to make money. Do they relate? You tell me. Peace.